Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, we're gonna have a look nominally at the Lexus IS200T and talk about something else. So we've had the Lexus IS200T uh, F-Sport for about a week. And this is the first time we've driven it in about three days. Most of what we have to say is it's a decent car. Uh, it's sort of, you know, does it do sporty as good as a BMW? No. Does it do luxury as good as Mercedes? No. Does it do all around as good as an Audi? No. But if you mix all that together, this is what you get. And that's not a bad thing. It's actually a very good, very competent car. Uh, and you'd not go wrong by choosing this. Uh, if you're going to lease a car for two, three, maybe four years, then, you know, pick what you like. If you're going to be buying a car and owning it for six, seven, ten years, well, then this is your choice because, well, Toyota Lexus, right? You know, it's comfortable. It drives well. It does all the things it's supposed to do. Uh, it has heated and cooled seats in the front. It's got a heated steering wheel. Thank you very much. Been very nice. Um, but it does fall into that problem that all Lexus Toyotas have in that, okay, heated steering wheel is fine, actually heats up relatively quickly, but the seat heaters take forever to warm up and they don't get very warm. Uh, and this is odd considering Toyota Lexus has a rather large R&D facility uh, just outside the metro Detroit area out in Saline, Michigan. You'd think they'd kind of figure that one out after a while, but whatever. Overall, good car. What we have the main issue with this car though is tire selection. Now, generally the tire that's on here is good. It's a Bridgestone Taranza uh, ER33 to be specific. And Bridgestone describes this as a grand touring summer tire. That's a very good description of it because when we receive this car, we've never seen above 40 degrees. And as a winter tire, it's got awful. Um, it's borderline dangerous on this car, and I'm not saying that lightly at all. Um, if YouTube won't let us put a card up here, we'll, uh, we'll link to it below to an article we wrote for Hooniverse. Uh, we did uh, an event with the Tire Rack and Michelin back in uh, mid-September of this year, uh, talking about why winter tires are a good thing, why they're important. And... Um, it really is illustrated in the real world here today. Um, there's also a couple of good videos that will uh, that the Tired Rack did at that event that we'll link below as well, really illustrating the the points that we're gonna we're talk about here very quickly. Um, below 40 degrees, you need a different compound of tire to be effective. Even in braking, it makes a big difference. The ABS kicks on very quickly. Uh, here where when we drive our norm, our personal car, which is on regular all seasons, uh, it makes it, it doesn't kick come into ABS near as quickly. Uh, the other point is that uh, trying to get some traction, yeah, does not happen in this. And this is why we say this is borderline dangerous, these tires on this car. Sunday, we got 10 inches of snow here in Metro Detroit. And even though this has modern traction control, it has a snow mode, when, when th with those engaged with the conditions as they were, which weren't horrible by any means, they just weren't good, when you rolled into the throttle, even at about a 10% uh, throttle position, the traction control lights blinking off and on, um, and really, we were going nowhere. And when I say we were going nowhere, I mean we were going nowhere. There was zero speed being gained. Um, what made it worse is that this is in the middle of Woodward Avenue uh, and in, you know, in Metro Detroit here in Royal Oak and, and, and uh, Birmingham area, which probably doesn't mean a lot to most of you watching, but it's a busy through fair. Through fair. It's about four, three, four lane, four lanes. Uh, by me uh, okay. each way. Roads are, you know, slushy, but not horrible. At a stoplight, here we go. 
how is this snow mode and traction control and we are making essentially no forward prior everyone else is driving away we are making no forward pro well very light forward progress here all right so here we go see green light okay maybe we've got it hold on crap six miles an hour this is like actually pretty scary because i got traffic coming behind me yes i know what i'm filming that's a brilliant idea right but just like eesh. now if i turned off traction control yes i could get spinning but this thing gets sideways i already tried it i mean scary sideways like 90 degree sideways uh, with the lightest possible throttle so all right so that's not going anywhere you think well uh, from the old school i learned to drive in rear wheel drive cars with no traction control so we turn off all the uh add-ons and again this is sort of an old school reference for you it was like being steve kinzer now, for those of you under the age of about 40, you have no idea who Steve Kinzer was. Legend. World of Outlaw sprint car driver. Sprint cars, you know, those guys who drive, you know, 800 horsepower cars going sideways. You modern kids call that like drifting. Um, they were doing it a long time ago. So, but anyways, so with all that, all the stuff turned off, it was literally like that going up Woodward. I mean, people try to give me wide bursts because I was literally not figuratively, literally at a 45 degree angle going up the road trying to get make progress. Scary, truly scary, um, and yes, dangerous. Now, I don't wanna bag on Bridgestone on these tires for this reason. Bridgestone make awesome winter tires, okay? Blizzax have driven on them, used them, excellent tires. They would have been even better on this car, okay? If you're gonna own a car like this in a northern climate where you have weather, uh, and cold winter tires are a thing you must have now you put them on here and this car would have been just fine okay but without them the car was undrivable this is one of those points where you know how auto journals you read them you hear them whatever they say you should have winter tires you really need winter tires in a car like this it really should not be an option and some of you will whine oh but the extra cost well what's the cost of the deductible on your insurance when things go pear-shaped okay and it's not like you're going to only use them for one time or one year. It's something that's going to last you five or six years. You can amortize that cost for, you know, what, 200 bucks a year, 250 bucks a year for five, six years. No big deal. I mean, you know, let's be realistic here. Um, all right. So I am on my street getting ready to pull back to my driveway here up the road. And just for an example, snow mode engaged and I'm let's come to a complete stop barely on the throttle and we're going four five six seven eight Oop, dry patch we'll get a little traction okay so that was you know up to about 10 miles an hour here abs 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 finally come to a stop okay i'm gonna put it in park snow off traction control turned off into drive oops barely touched the gas spun up that quick so we're going you know the Speed shows that we're going like 35, but actually we're not, we're going maybe like six. Um, not too bad here. But this is just, this car with these tires, no good, no way. So the lesson here, kids, is this. Rear wheel drive car, performance car, great, fine. Driven them here in the winter. We drove a CTSV wagon, 550 some odd horsepower wagon. In the winter, in the snow, a number of years ago. If we remember, we'll link to that somewhere. Um, never had a problem with it. Why? Proper winter tires. Proper winter tires, kids. It's an important thing. And had this car been equipped with them, we could have done a better review. But as it is, it's incomplete because the car was essentially undrivable uh, with the tires that it was equipped with. You know, it is what it is. So, uh, if you like what you see, like, share, subscribe. Uh, YouTube's putting things you can subscribe, like, here or, you know, next video there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on rubblestrip.net and 10-Minute Test Drive.